hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I just wanted to show you guys something that I am really passionate about which is investing in the stock market and I'm using my M1 finance portfolio because it's literally brand new as you can see I only have two hundred and eighty dollars and forty seven cents in my portfolio because I had just started in the month of May and I started out more active. I put in $150 and then 10 and then $100. And I was like, you know, I really, I'm already investing in a few other platforms. So I want this one to be more passive. So I set up some automatic stuff and I'm having it happen without me really putting much effort into it. So I thought this would be really fun to show you guys you know, on a bi-weekly or monthly basis, I am investing $5 a day into this portfolio. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on the ride. And as you can see, we are just now on the rise. The past month has been really rough on gains, but we did come out in the green overall after this past week. So here are all of my stock picks that I have, and I'm just going to go sort it in terms of gain and go down the list in terms of who's winning and who's not really doing so good. So here are all of my picks. And as you can see on the right, you can see my allocations and all of that stuff too. And I'm gonna go through all of these with you today. Not really gonna go into much detail, but I'm gonna show you how much I have, what I've gained, and how much it really costs in the market. So we're gonna start with Medtronic Place. And honestly, this is an awesome pick for me. I'm gonna go more in detail later with why I picked what I did, but I do wanna show you that I have 0.14 shares and in the market it actually costs $97. It is in the green for now, so I'm not really gonna be getting a discount going forward as much as I would like, but I have $14.06 in Medtronic Place. Next we have O, which is Realty Income Corporation, and I have $8.39 in this stock which amounts to 0.11555 shares. My average cost is $70.01, and in the market, it costs $72.65. Next, we are gonna look at Microsoft. I have $14.68 in Microsoft, which amounts to 0.1 share in the stock market. We are in the green here as well by 43 cents, and the actual market cost is $131.40. And I just thought this would be a cool tech stock to pick. I mean, I know what Microsoft is. I don't feel like I have to do much research on Microsoft, so I picked it. Texas Instruments Incorporated to me is a great dividend stock. And I mean, I know you're noticing the pattern that I only have dividend stocks minus maybe two or three. And it costs $111 in the stock market. And I have $8.53 in that. And next we have T, AT&T, which is kind of a controversial stock because a lot of people see it as a bond due to it not really going up in the market once or going up in the market much. And I have 0.349 shares. It really costs $32.49. Next we have Chevron, which is a nice, you know, gas company energy stock here. And I have 0.09 shares with the cost really being $121 in the stock market. And I just know that this would be a safe stock to get dividends from in the future. And then we have the Vanguard total bond market. I'm glad I had this during the downturn, but I do feel like I need to lower my allocation just a bit. I have about 10% of my portfolio in this stock and it's $82.34, I have 0.3 shares and it gives um, a good dividend monthly, 19 cents, but obviously I'm not gonna get 19 cents because I don't have a full share of this ETF. So next we have Procter and & Gamble, and this was on the low for a while, but it's just now in the green. So I think I kind of missed the bus a little bit on this, but I like this as a blue chip stock because I do have it in a different portfolio and it's a great income for me. The actual cost is $108 as you can see here and I have 0 .078 shares of Procter & Gamble. Next we have Johnson & Johnson. Next we have Berkshire Hathaway. I respect Berkshire Hathaway as a company. 
Um, I have 0.04 shares of that. It's about $250 or $205, sorry, in the market. Um, but I might get rid of it because it doesn't give a dividend and I am more dividend focused. So I thought it would be a good growth company, but I'm kind of getting bored of it. Next, we have Boeing. Boeing is a little controversial right now because of their planes and you know they're trying to rectify that which is why i think they are in the green as of right now and i wanted to get this at more of a discount but i came a little late to the game so i know it's going to start going up a lot and i kind of missed my chance but i'm going to stick with it i'm going to you know keep up my my allocations here and just collect dividends as my account grows next we have vanguard total stock market um, I think I have too much of this in my portfolio as well because it is more of a Roth IRA pick for me, which I do have. And this is 15% of my portfolio. Now, I know I'm only 26, so I am going to lower my allocation. I have 0.28 shares. It really costs 146 in the market. And this is a really safe pick, I think, overall. But for this, for this portfolio, I might lower it. In terms of Johnson & Johnson, we are 0 0.05. We're five cents in the game here. And oh, I earned five cents in dividends. That's great. So I have 0.1 share of Johnson & Johnson. My average share price is $138. And the actual market price is $138. So I'm not really getting a discount. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to hold it long term. I'm putting in every day. So the cost to me really does not matter. I'm here for the dividend and that's it. And next, we have Bank of Nova Scotia. This is another one that I have in a different portfolio too, but I love this company. Um, it's at a deep discount at the moment. It doesn't seem to be able to catch a break, but I believe in this company, so I'm going to keep on buying this company. And next, we have Caterpillar. I'm really into Caterpillar as a company. It's at a great discount right now. I've been looking for it or looking into it for about a year. Um, and I finally found a time where it is at a great discount. So I did jump in. I only have $13 in it, 0.1 shares, but it's at $124 in the market, which to me is a great discount. So I'm going to enjoy putting more and more into this and growing my Caterpillar presence. Next, we've got ExxonMobil, another energy company, and I am here for ExxonMobil. We are not in the gains here. We're 0 0.13, 13 cents down. I've got 0.18 shares. It's really $74 in the market, and it's another safe income stock for me. Next, we've got Verizon. When the market was downturning earlier, Verizon was doing really good. It was one of my main gainers, but now that we're doing okay, I seem to be losing some money on Verizon as of right now. Um, I've got 0.2 shares. It costs $57.24, and Verizon gives a great dividend. So I look forward to having this to kind of help with my telecommunications allocation. 3M, to me, still is a solid company. Um, I have 0.06 shares of 3M, and it's just taken a beating. Taken a beating. It's just can't seem to get in the green here. So while it is in the red, I will be, you know, putting more money into this company because I still believe that it will grow in the long run. As you can see, it's $166.61 in the market. That is a huge discount. People were speculating that it would get down to $175, so get it while you can, guys. Next, we have Archer Daniels Midland ADM, one of my favorite stocks. I have it in a different portfolio. Um, I have a personal connection to this company. My dad works there. Um, I know a lot about it. And I, you know, I think it's an underrated company. So I really enjoy having this stock in my portfolio. It gives about a 35 cent dividend every quarter. Um, it costs $39.58 in the market. That is a huge, huge, huge discount. I remember, you know, buying it that way a year ago. And yeah, Archer Dan Mules Midland is great. Iron Mountain is also a great company. It is a REIT. It gives a good dividend as well. And it's still so discounted. It's been discounted for a long, long time. I have 0.4 shares of this. And in the market, it costs $31. I honestly think that Iron Mountain is worth way more than being in the 30s, but maybe I'm just the only one, I don't know. So I'm definitely gonna stack up on this 
a lot in the future. And last but not least, we have Amazon. I kind of wanted, you know, another big tech name. I'm not really a fan of Fang stocks, so I think I might get rid of this once it goes back into the green. But I wanted to show you guys, you know, how much I have of Amazon. It is 0 0.008 shares, not even 0 0.1 share. It costs $1,800 in the market. It doesn't give a dividend. So honestly, I don't know why I even have this in my portfolio other than I know what Amazon is. I feel like I don't have to do much research on it, but I'm going to get rid of it soon. So that is all of my stock picks that we have here um, for a, a total of $280.47. Our gain, we're, our gain is $1.66 with $0.19 cents of dividends coming next month. I did set up my portfolio in a way to which I will be getting a dividend of some sort every single month. Um, with um, June, I'm going to have about five payments. Um, I will go more into that later. But here again are all of my holdings. Um, this is subject to change, obviously. I want to hear your guys' input on what I have and we can go more into detail on why I actually chose these companies. I only chose companies that I know a lot about, so we can go into more details on that later on. I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what, you know, M1 Finance is looking like and, you know, why I chose these will come in the future. But here is my total allocations and my holdings. So if we go back to my pie, I'm going to show you guys, well, First, let's go to funding. So these are what my fundings look like. I have every week on Mondays, I'm going to be putting in $25. And every week on Tuesdays, I'm going to be putting in $10 for a total of $35 a week, which is $5 a day. So at the end of the year, I will have like a thousand so dollars in this account. And hopefully, you know, with it being so frequent that I'm putting money in, you know, I can dollar cost average in that way, but I'm going to be holding all of this long term. So it really doesn't matter when I feel like I go in to the market. <clears throat> I don't plan on, you know, selling things anytime soon other than the ones that I mentioned earlier in this video. So here are my initial deposits. I was putting it in more actively at first, 150 and then 10 and then 100. And it just wasn't working. So I was like, you know, I focus on my Roth IRA and my re, um, real estate. So outside of that, this is just going to be a fun little project that I feel like I can share with you guys. And if you guys are beginners, show you guys, you know, investing really isn't that bad. You know, there are downs, but there's more ups to it as well. So I hope you guys are excited for this new series like I am. I'm so stoked to show you guys, especially my mother, because... <laughs> I've been, you know, trying to get her to start, you know, looking into this for a while now. So I just wanted to show people that, you know, you don't have to be um, an expert in order to get into the stock market. Um, and there's really no work with M1. The beginning is the most work. You pick your stocks. Um, you, you have time to do all of your research. You can create your pie and your allocations. And then you just put money in and the AI does it literally for you it will allocate all of your money based on the percentages that you choose and all you really have to do is rebalance whenever you want or you know edit your pie add more stocks or sell if that's what you want to do or you can just leave it honestly it really doesn't matter to me how you do it but as long as you're putting the money in you can have it literally be an automatic transfer and the rest is just ai like you just go in every once in a while check on it I'm going to be going in whenever I want to talk to you guys about it. And that's all you really have to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, obviously, you know, <laughs> being a girl and, you know, not really talking about stocks as much as, you know, I talk about them in person with people. It is a little nerve wracking. You know, people will assume that you don't know what you're doing, but I did want to show, you know, other girls, like you guys should really get more into the stock market. It's really fun. It's good for your future. And <clears throat> what better time to start on your, you know, investments in your retirement than right now. And for guys too, who don't know much about it, it really doesn't matter, you know, how old you are. If you can get into the stock market, if you've got a little extra cash or, you know, if you don't, 
put some money in there and get those dividends back. Get paid to literally put your money away. So <clears throat> thank you guys for watching this. I hope to get any feedback from you in the comments. You know, what are some stock picks that you guys are into? Are you into dividend investing? Are you into growth investing? What do you do with your dividends? Do you auto invest them? Do you take them out and pay your bills? All of that. I will talk about other investing avenues as well. I do use Fundrise. I use, you know, Ally Invest for my Roth IRA. And I just can't wait to get more into these topics with you guys. So be sure to leave any stock picks in the comments that you guys would like me to talk more about. Um, and leave any stocks that you guys think I have that you think are good picks or bad picks. I just want to know what you guys are thinking. And let me know if you have any comments about the stock market too in the um comments as well if you have any questions rather about the stock market and you know be sure to check out missbonitalin.com where I talk more about budgeting and finance and all of that stuff there and also visit me on Pinterest too to see more side gig type things and more ways to fuel your investment portfolio so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time with a new video goodbye <music>